Hey everyone, today I want to show you how I'm using the Playwright MCP server to fill out a form for me, because I just don't want to have to bother filling out forms. So I've just got an empty repo here with a .github folder and inside it a prompts folder, and I've just got my prompt. And the prompt is playwrightliveform.prompt.md. So basically what I want to do is I have this form I have to fill out every time we're hosting a Playwright Live session. I don't want to bother having to do that. I just want Copilot to do it for me. So I'm going to press play on this button here, which is going to open up a new chat and it's going to follow the instructions and it's basically going to fill out the form for me. So this is great because let me see uh, this open up the browser there. Let me pull that across so you can see it better. And um, I've just got this markdown file, which is a reusable prompt. But the thing is that I can actually just go and tweak. Some things are going to change. Like the show is always going to be the same, but the date is going to change. The time is going to change. Maybe some topics, maybe the description and, you know, maybe um, the the guest could change. Uh, the tags might change. That's and the, and the image is always going to change. So there's a couple of things that I do have to tweak every time we want to host this. But in general, there's a lot of things are the same. And just filling out forums is just so boring. And I'm not doing anything right now, which means I could basically walk away and let this prompt run. It's just going to fill that out and then I can just come back. And I've specifically said in the prompt not to submit the form just because I want to review it first because I'm I'm not sure did I do it right. Um, so I'm going to review it first, but I could totally just take that line out and let it just go ahead and submit that form. And that's just super quick. Now you can see everything that's going on. It was able to run the date there. It was able to like find it. Um, and as I'm going along, I have access to this browser. As you can see, I can click and move along as well if I needed to actually make some edits as I was going along. I, I don't have to run the thing again. If I wanted to add another um, social channel, for example, I could just totally go and click that as well. Um, or I could modify the description if I decided, no, actually I want to change it after I've reviewed it. So this is like super cool. Um, so we've now got onto uh, the Azure developers. It's great. Um, I don't have any social promotion text. I said no to that. We have some community links. It's going to fill that in. And as I said, this is a really, really cool way of just um, getting the, um, the form filled out without you actually having to do any work. Like this is cool. So think about all the things that you have to do that you don't want to do. And see if you can get the Playwright MCP server to do it. Um, so I also have, oh my gosh, I've got to upload an image here. Let's see if it can actually do this. So it's going to put in those tags there. And now I needed to upload an image. So can the Playwright MCP server upload an image to this form for me? Right, let's have a look. It ran the upload files and it failed. Okay, let's take a look. What's it going to do next? It needs to click the upload button first. Of course it does. It's going to click that button. It ran click. Great. What's it going to do next? Perfect. Now we can upload the file. Bang. The file has just been uploaded or it's uploading. Playwright Live July PNG exactly uh, as I put in there on number 13. That is uploaded and that is done. This is amazing. So this is all you need to do, right? This is absolutely great. Um, it sees that everything has been done and I notice the submit button is currently disabled, uh, probably because the form is processing the upload. That's great. Let me wait a moment and then check the form status. So it's even telling me if the form can be submitted. So now it's ready um, and the submit button is now enabled. Okay, so if I wanna go ahead and submit that, I can. But basically it's saying, this is the form review. This is everything that I've added. So we could we could actually just analyze it in the form itself, or we could analyze it right there in the chat. And then it's like, would you like me to make any changes? So I can come along here and press submit. Uh, as you can see here, I can press submit, or I can just go, uh, go ahead, you know, actually, just do voice as well. Thanks so much. That's great. Go ahead and submit it. Do, 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 do. Right, let's see, can it press the button? Perfect, now I'm gonna submit the form. It's clicked the button, the button has been clicked. We've got a thing going around there and bang, we have done. We have now submitted our Playwright Live session. Uh, so we're going live on Tuesday, come and join us and we're gonna talk more Playwright Live, Playwright MCP server. This has been fun. Um, see all the amazing cool things you can do, just one simple prompt file, amazing. Uh, make sure you have the Playwright MCP server installed in your tools. Uh, I've got some built-in ones there and then you've got the Playwright MCP server and just make sure that that's checked. And that's it. Easy. Done. Go have fun, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.